Hey Planet Sewers, it's Mathlete here. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Today I have one last quick highlight of the Kangathon 2021 before we jump into our video today. Make sure you go check out Kangathon's webpage to get more information. The links are in the description on when all of these amazing creators that you see on this list and it's growing daily are going to be releasing videos or doing live streams or both to help raise awareness and funds from Kango Wildlife Ranch. Make sure you also go check out Kango Wildlife Ranch uh, YouTube page as well as their website. You can get more information about them and check out some of their videos of their great animals. Uh, for this event, I have teamed up with Raven Scar Gaming to create a Kango Zoo Little series with the first episode airing on my channel this Saturday and we will alternate every day between our channels with the schedule you see here as well as you can check the description to get all the other information if the screen is too fast. We will be releasing on alternating days a new episode for the Zoo Little for Kango every single day starting Saturday and ending with my very first live stream Friday July 23rd at 8 p.m. Central so make sure that you go and set a reminder so you can join in the fun. I'll be doing a zoo tour of the final zoo as well as we'll have some giveaways and Ruby the McCall aka the Screamer will make her first appearance for you guys. You can meet her and say hello. So make sure that you check that out and um, let's move on. So let's get into a basic build for the white rhinoceros in real time so here we go I thought I would do a real-time video for you guys today I am going to build a Indian rhinoceros habitat right over here and that is next to the ancient oasis that I did in my last uh, video last week um, where I built this around these uh, copy paste meerkats that just showed up I had no idea how they got out here um, I know it's from a glitch from when I was building this guy over there I copy paste or I'll copied and they just disappeared and I eventually found them way out over here um, so that's what we're gonna do today all right so let's get started with that habitat um, I know that I want to put kind of some um, food stuff over here for them a little later date so I'm gonna move this direction and what I think I want to do is I'm going to put in a little bit of a water barrier here. So I'm going to just push this down. And I think I do want them to be able to get in from the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a two meter wall. We'll go with one meter. There we go. put that just right there and terrain and we're going to push that down oh I'm silly what I meant to do is actually sink this into the ground there we go all right well one meter may not be quite deep enough got stuck there we go I think we'll go with this one that I just made that looks like a good a good height there but you can use these sometimes to measure see how deep you would like to make something I'm gonna get my flattened foundation tool out that's a little large we're gonna go, there we go so we're gonna just flatten that out right there and then I don't want them to be able to get up that hill. Hopefully they can't. And we're going to come this direction. And flatten this out. And I'm going to go ahead and smooth this. I do want them to be able to get in the water over here. So I'm going to get a little flat in the surface right there. Hopefully this isn't too steep for them. And then we'll smooth this out on the edges. And then I'm going to make 
this a little bit larger for this side. No, oh, that's yeah, that should be fine. And we'll come out this way. Oh, I have wrong tool. Ha uh ha. -huh. I hate it when I do that to myself. There we go. And then that way, as they walk from this way, because I think I'm going to put a path here in the end, another one to get through so they have nice circular, circular choices to move in. And then I think I will also make sure they can get in over here. So I'm going to push this down right there. Smooth this out. And before I put water in it, I'm going to throw down a null barrier real quick. That way I can see how these hippos are space-wise, if they have, uh-oh, my phone just went off. Anyway, this is just makeshift for now so that I can put them, did I say hippos? I meant Indian rhinoceroses. Anyway, all right, so there we go. I'm going to put a habitat gate on this, and for right now, I'm going to put that just over here, maybe. No, I'm not, because then they can't move around. We're going to put it... We're gonna put it here. All right, so right there, and let's go find those Indian rhinoceroses. And so I decided to use GeForce instead of the other screen recorder, but I forgot I had turned my mic off while I was actually doing this. So my editing process is a little different today so anyway, um, haha at myself because I actually did buy Indian rhinoceroses. Um, I don't know why I had them stuck in my head, but what I really wanted was white rhinoceroses. So anyway, um, good chuckle. I hope everybody gets a laugh at my sillies. Um, I did figure it out in time. Um, I do have Indian rhinoceroses in this zoo, so I'm just going to hang on to them. Um, and I'll use them when the others pass away. Uh, so what I'm doing here is putting in a path so that I can bring in these white rhinoceroses um, so I can get a better idea of what they need and also to see if they can actually get into the um, little places I made for them for their water um, so we're gonna do that and while they get in here one of the ideas I have for completing this is to make kind of a lookout right here uh, to look out or in to the habitat with a viewing area and kind of a covered area as well so I decided I'm gonna make this water pit a little bit bigger um, so that I can kind of build a structure right there to protect the guests from falling in, which I will be doing in part two of this, um, build. I am a slow builder. I thought I could do this way faster, but I did not. Anyway, so I was looking for concrete and I realized I still had the height filter on so I had to turn that off so I'm gonna put some concrete here while I wait for my rhinoceroses is rhinoceroses is there a nice I can't talk good grief anyway whatever the plural is for rhinoceros um, I'm gonna put this down here to kind of cover up that edge um, I may stick with that I may change it later but for right now that was my idea so I'm gonna use this to cover up that edge and kind of create a bulkhead um, in the future. So I'm going to set all that down. And once I get that down, I, I heard two 
flop, so I'm going to get rid of one. There we go. That looks good for now. And let's see. I need to put my phone on silent. Sorry about that. Usually I do. I'm going to scoot this over. I was trying to line that up with the edge there. But it's not quite straight. So I'm just going to leave it right there. Go ahead and plop that down. And if you hear my husky from time to time, she is super cranky. She thinks that it is treat time, and it is not. So, she's being a bully. Alright, yay! They're here. Alright, gonna check out their traversable. It shows they can get down in there. So, let's put some water in and see what happens. I'm not gonna worry about their escape areas. That was just to get an idea for what they need. So currently, it looks like they may need some more land. Let's see what happens when we put the water in. Because if they have babies, I can see that will go down. But also, how much can they actually traverse with the water in these pits? So let's put it in. And bloop. I do need a little bit more space for these guys, I think. Uh, so we're going to get there. But they can get in and out of the water, I believe. We're going to double check that. If I can get out of that tool there. There we go. Hit that. And we're going to hit play. <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like these guys don't swim. So they can come up to the water. So this water barrier will... I don't need to put a barrier on this side. They will keep them in. Hmm. Interesting. All right, I think I have a new plan. So we're gonna undo adding the water. We're going to pause the game again so they don't escape. And then we're gonna make their barrier. I'm gonna make it just a little smaller here. And we're going to give them all water barriers. Oh, that's where the habitat barrier is. Let's get rid of it. Yes, I know. It's invalid. You'll get over it. Alright. Terrain. And make a big, I think I'll put a big lake right here. this path for a second, put it back in a minute, and I'm going to remove this water over here, and I'm going to connect these together.
see if that leaves them enough room. Oops, hit the wrong button. So I can push this barrier back a little bit. Yeah, I know there's boundary issues. I should fix that before I look at that heat map, huh? Silly me. Actually, what I want to do is get rid of that. And we're just going to bring this out this way. Bring this over here and connect it back in right there. And where'd I... Bring this one over here. There we go. Put that staff path back. Maybe. Oh, I saw it. There we go. Alrighty. Now let's see what this looks like. And when I hit play. Alright, that keeps them in. They can't escape. They can't go up the hills. Perfect. But they do not have enough space. Go me. Hmm. Alrighty. So I took a little pause and thought about how I wanted to approach this. And what I have decided is I'm going to delete this here and we're going to move that habitat gate right over here. And then we're going to move the barriers again. And what I'm going to do is build them a rock, um, a rock bridge across so that they can get over to the other side and then bring their moat around. So that's what we're going to do. So that solves the issue of not quite having enough space because one, they can actually get in the water. I made it a little too deep in some areas, which is fine because they're not supposed to be getting close to the guests, but it did change how I wanted to do some things. And then, um, since they can't get into some of that, I guess I could have gone back and allowed them to be able to walk through there uh, in some areas, but this will be fun. It'll be a little bit of a challenge. So I'm going to put this right here. And let's see. How are we looking? Oh, we're getting alerts. All right, cool. So they can navigate all through here. And let's check it again. And I'll look around. I need to block off those areas over there. And then I'm going to need to put in something for them to get to the other side so they have a little bit more space. We are in the green, but if they have a baby, um, they may not be quite so happy. I mean, I am in sandbox. I could just leave it um, and turn their welfare off. However, I do like to blue, blue. I like to blueprint a lot of these things. So I do like to make sure that there's adequate space for the animals so that they're happy for any players that do want to use these in the franchise mode they don't need to do much to get them going so let's take this water back out and we're gonna build a little more barrier um, give them a little island so to speak and get this fixed up alrighty so I have removed the water here um, what I'm going to do to solve this problem uh, is I've moved the barrier 
So I did a little bit off screen, mostly because I'm using a different recording um, tech, I guess, program, and I am making mistakes and turning my microphone on because I'm not used to recording with it. Um, but anyway, so here's what I'm going to do is to give them more space. One, since they can walk around through here, I am going to deepen this side right here. Maybe push 100%. Go a little deeper right there. Flatten the foundation so I can make sure that they do not get out over here on this side. That's interesting. I wonder what's right there. Oh yeah, the barrier's right there. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright. So let me get rid of that barrier there. Like that. Terrain. Nearby so I can see get an aerial view so I can get out here. So we're going to make this side of the lake pretty deep. And we'll stick a rock right there to keep them from getting out. And we're going to come this way. And then I'm going to move this barrier in a minute. Actually, I need to move it now. because It's going to be in my way with my new plan. All right, back to the terrain tool, and I'll just make this nice and deep so that they can't crawl around in here, and connect it back into this other side. So I'm going to put the path right here. Actually, this is a little one's flatten this. Curve in. There we go. Back to our water tool. Add it back in. There we go. Let's see. Go to barriers, put my null barrier back in. We'll just follow along on the outside here. I may have to move that later when I go to path. All right, so we're gonna come out this way. And there we go, connect it in. Barrier is closed. All right, let's check them one more time. Heat map. Play. Did it turn on play? Nope. Play. They've been boxed. It's recalculating. Huh. Okay, so now. Unbox all animals. Alright, so I do have issues out here, so I'm going to need to build them a bridge to get over here. So I'll do that with rocks. Alright. So, we're going to pick out some nature stuff for them. Turn blueprints off. Go ahead and pick their nature qualifications and my most favorite thing not really is rock work Woohoo! that is a huge rock and it goes I'm gonna set that right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in different biome just so I can use those rocks for a second. Make myself a little rock palette. And we'll just do rocks. Alright, there we go. Scoot this over. Oh. Alrighty. 
sink that down some. Nature. All right, all the rocks I can pick from. Go ahead and use this temperate rock, I think it was, and we're gonna cover up the habitat gate a little bit. Go ahead and bring this up a little. To our rock palettes just to give this a little bit of color that is huge there we go I always forget the rocks are just humongous I'll give this rock a little bit of color not a huge one and hit M so I can move that shift to put that down in there and grab another five dollar rock and shift to sink that there all right, cool. So let's work on the other side a little bit. Let's go back to our savanna rocks, desert rocks. There we go. Let's sink this down a little bit. I'm gonna turn that off by hitting spacebar so I can pull that how I want. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and click back on our boy here. Heat map. So I can see where the escape points are. So I need a little rock wall kind of coming this way. So I'll follow this here. I'm gonna turn that 45 degree back on by hitting spacebar, maybe. Hit X again so I can spin this. And sink that down a little bit. I'm going to push it over. Actually, bring it back up. There we go. And let's add in a couple of color rocks. Shift. Sink you in a little bit. So we have a little bit of variation in our rock color. I'm going to sink that down just a little bit. There we go. Some of these, oops, nature. And put this kind of on the edge. There we go, I like that. Sink that in. Pull it out just a little bit. There we go. Let's see if I've covered that area. I think what I'll do is right here. Here, no, I don't know. I have an idea. I'm thinking about building a little um, kind of a see-through thing right there. I'm gonna hit play, heat map. Let's readjust that. All right, so right there, I've solved the escape problem right there, but I do need to go over there and fix that one. Let's see here. All right, so I think what I'm going to do, since this kind of covered that, uh, is I'm going to go ahead and bring some rocks kind of coming down. So I can follow that rock theme. Where's that $20? There it is. Let's get this flipped on its side. And I'm going to pull that there. Whoops. There we go. I want to go that way with it. Bring it up just a little bit. I like that. And then I'm going to add in a couple of different kind of rocks just to... Let's see. That didn't go the direction I wanted it to. There we go. Well, maybe not. I'm going to hit X. I am not the best at rock work controls. Sometimes I can get them to do what I want. That fever tree is in my way. Let's see, I want this rock, you know, no, I want 
this one. Is that a different color? I don't think it is. Let me move this back in my favor here. I don't want it. Can't tell. Are we the same? No, we're not. I don't think so. Alright. Stick a little five dollar rock on this one, give it some color variation. Alright. There we go. So it looks like I need to select my White rhinoceros. Heat map. Push play again. So this, where'd it go? There it is. Looks like there is an escape route in the water. So I need a way to keep them from going this way. I wonder if this will keep them from getting over here. Sometimes some of these plants have some hitboxes that are pretty big and will disrupt their movement. So let's see if that's still a thing and if it works with those plants. Here, little guy. Heat map. It has shrunk it. So this may, this may work. What if I put in a rock down there? And let's see what happens with that. Boom. Aha, you can't get out. Nice. All right, where are our other escape routes? Do we have any more? I don't see any more. All right, so I need to build them a little bridge from somewhere. And I want to put the game back on pause because I don't have any feeders or anything out for them. Let's take this off. Let's think about where I want to put that bridge for them. Let's see. I know I want this path. I'm going to do a six meter path. And we're just going to follow along the edge here. They have a nice little winding walk around the water. And get some good views as they're walking along. Hopefully they don't say where is the white rhinoceros. And they can get a nice view. I'm thinking instead of... I can do two things. So right here, let's make this path longer. Hit plus. Oh. That's fine, we'll go with the curve, why not? Oh, what was that? There we go. And we'll hit minus and bring this back to a normal size. And continue our path along the edge. And we'll go this way. I'm gonna keep it smaller so I have better control of how close we're getting. And I think I'm going to bring it right here. Like that. There we go. And onward with building them a little bridge. Oh, the water area looks a little awkward. We'll fill it in with some rocks. Alright. I may just build my rock bridge right here. That is a wee bit awkward. I don't want to take the water back out. Alrighty, so nature. Get a big fat desert rock. I wonder 
if Okay, so hmm. I'm thinking about it. If I do this, first I want to see if they can get on that and walk over it. Play, heat map. No, they cannot. Let's sink it down. Game had a little hiccup there. Did it recalculate? Let's bring it this way. I think the problem is they don't have the traversable area to begin with to get to the rock. Aha! There we go. That was the problem. Okay, so is this up in the air? A little bit. Let's copy this rock. I'm going to spin it around. they can get across there. It looks like it's not quite wide enough for them. So we're going to add a couple more rocks here. I may have to switch it to the flat ones. I wonder if I should use this one instead. Alright, let's get rid of that one. This desert rock. That little spot's really bothering me. It's distracting. All right, I'm gonna put this down like that. And then I'm gonna spin this thing. Turn it the other way. Uh, we'll go straight with it. And spin it back the other way again. Set that right there. So yes, they can go through shallow water, but they cannot go through deep water. Heat map. Waha, success, they can get across. I see no escape routes. Woohoo! All right, heat map, turn that off. We're gonna hit pause again. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill this in with some different rocks so it will stop bothering me. That way it looks less crazy right there. Rock. It's a good size. Let's see. Get this rock here. Push that into the wall here. I'll have to check in a moment. Make sure this doesn't disrupt their movements. Let's go back up here to these. Hmm. Actually, I changed my mind. Uh, 
I'm just gonna fix it. Remove. I'm just gonna push this down a little bit. Double check that they can get across here. Yeah, I know, I upset them. Unbox all animals. There it goes, okay. What happened? <laughs> Alright, we'll just flatten this. Here, there we go, terrain, add water. Okay, unbox them again. Get out of this tool. Unbox all animals. Alrighty, heat map. Alright, there we go. Okay, solve that problem. So what I'm going to do now... I'm going to make this a little bigger. We're going to give them just a little bit of variation to their terrain here. Can I pull any of that? Yeah, a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and Make this a little smaller then. Let's see if I can. There we go. And we'll smooth that out some. And give this side a little, make it a little push. Make it a little smaller. Ready? No, nope, the water won't let me. Oh, there we go. out a little. Alrighty, so over here in this corner, I'm going to make a rock shelter for them. Let's see, what rocks do I want? I want this one. It's got to be kind of big so they can get in and out. This one. Let's set that lower in the ground. We need some bigger rocks to hold this top. Bring this this way. Oops, not up. I'm gonna go back. There we go. been fooled. Alright. Grab that. Uh, I like that there. Let's 
get us a nice big red rock. Shove that right there. How much is my path is that going? That's not too bad. We'll just give it a little nudge this way. That could be a nice view from up there too. So I may leave kind of a mm, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. All right. Put a big rock here. Spin this one. A big rock here. I'm gonna pause the game again since I haven't put anything out for them. And then I'm gonna use different cladding rocks. Work my way up. like that angle. Let's turn that off. There we go. Let's see. Hmm. I don't like those. We're going to take those out. Just kidding. We're going to build it with these guys. I'm going to put that there. Bring this out this way. Bring this towards the tree. Bring this kind of over here. And let's see here. I'm going to make myself a little pallet of these guys just right on the ground. Makes it a little easier and then moving them around. That's kind of small, not the big one. Where's the $15 one? There it is. And spin this one in this direction. And I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to spin it twice, put it right here, copy this one, spin it twice, put it right here, and then I'm going to find some of these smaller ones. Selecting multiple things, grab all this. And we're going to go ahead and merge that together. And hit X so I can move it. Whoop. Alright, let's see. Go ahead and pull this up some. Looks a little bit off. I'm going to flatten it some. We need to bring those a little closer together. Let's put this right there on the corner. Go ahead and set it down. And once again, we're going to hit play, let it register, see if that is enough to qualify for their hard shelter. And not quite, because I do need it to be larger. So 
I'll put back on pause. I have a time to uh, start a new zoo. And I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to spin it. Go this way with it. There we go. Relative world axis. Perfect. And put that there. And then I'm going to select this one. I'm going to put it on 45 degree turn. World axis so it'll go straight out. There we go. And then I'm going to hit I so I can select these guys. And bring them in a little closer. Get just this one. There we go. And let's see where it's at now. Heat map. Play. They can get under there. 100% hard shelter. Alright, cool. Now, I'm going to spruce this up just a little. Um, give it a little bit of variation on these posts. I'm going to do it on the outside of the post because these rocks are affecting how they navigate. That way it looks less just there it goes. Let's have a bathroom. Let's go ahead and give him something to lay on. Bedding. Blueprints off. Oh, I want to be able to free move it. Oh. There we go, buddy. Bloop. <laughs> it lifted him right up. How funny. And in case they have a baby, I'm going to just put a little extra down. Oh, I wonder if they can still get under there. I hate how it'll flatten out your terrain. I'm going to undo that one right there. And we'll put one right there. Okay. That looks good. Since I'm in here, let's go ahead and look at the white rhinoceros and see what else I can give them. All right. Let's go ahead and I'm going to put this gyro right here for them. And then we're going to give them a plant screen over here. And a barrel feeder. I want them to come over here. So I'm going to put a barrel feeder there. Is that the only other? And then I have the hanging barrel feeder. I need a mud bath. Let's put the mud bath right here. And let's see. I need a feeder for them. So they already have water because of this. So I do need to make sure I have something to clean their water. I'm going to put their food source kind of back over here. Click on them, see if they're happy. They are. All right, cool. Let's fix their terrain. They have too much short grass and they need some soil. Okay, so since they're over here a lot, I'm gonna go ahead and put some soil over here. I would imagine they would walk through here quite often. And they're probably going to use this quite often, so we'll put a little pass for their walking over here. And they do want more long grass, so let's go ahead and give them some long grass over here. I still need more soil. Let's do that up here. Up there. Let's go ahead and see if I can put some in the water. That's probably where some of this is causing the problem. Go ahead and 
put soil in the water. Around we go. All right. Still have a lot of short grass, it says. Let's come over here. Seems like it's taking away the long grass. It's probably because of the hill that I have here. I may need to pull that barrier in. Okay, so we hit enough soil. So let's add some more long grass right up here. Put some right there. And no edge here. Nope. I bet it is those barriers. So let's go pull those in some. It is. Alright, so I'm going to grab this barrier here. And I'll just post. This post, bring it up on the path, bring it more in. There we go. Let's see if that fixed it. Where are they? Oh, rhinoceroses, where are you hiding? They're under their little shelter that I built for them. And they're hungry. Terrain. Aha, got it. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and call out the keeper. I'm going to pop a new one down. I'm probably going to need a keeper hut over here, too. All right. So I have some ideas for what I want to do here, and I'll finish that next episode on real-time habitat. Um, so it'll just be a two-part, and we're going to stop with that real-time. Um, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and make a viewing platform right here, and then I'm going to go around and I'm going to build uh, some barriers and rails to keep people from falling in. So we'll do those. I'll probably do those small details. Um, I don't know. Let me in the, know in the comments because it's probably going to be after Kangathon that I uh, get this updated. So if you want to see it as a speed build, I will do that. If you want to see it real time, I can do that too. So let me know in the comments which way you would prefer. Uh, if you don't, then I will decide and it'll be a surprise. And it will come out not next Thursday, uh, so two weeks from today. Um, it says next week is all Kangathon, so um, look forward to seeing you guys in my very first live stream, July 23rd at 8 p.m. Um, and the first Kangathon video is going to go out this Saturday, and it's going to alternate between my channel and Raven Scar Gaming's channel. And we are doing a Zoo Little of uh, Kangathon. Looks like I need to give the keeper a way to get over here anyway um so anyways that's that and i will see you next time thank you so much for watching also may the rng odds be ever in your favor